Keep going, just forget it, sir. Just keep talking. This is what do you want me to start from? It's just amazing. No, just keep talking about this. What do you want me to say? This is an amazing story. What do you want me to say? Well, well, what, what do, you, do you want me to back up? Back have, up, yeah, back up. Yeah, 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 back up if you can. Because it's great. It's just, just have to look at the camera? Are you? No, just, just forget it. Just, just talk like you were talking. Okay, I'll try. Are you ready? Yep. Come on in. You're on. Yeah, come on. Okay, so I'm telling Keith the story. I'm standing at the Sealbach Hotel, which is one of my favorite places in the entire world. And I'm telling you about one of my favorite days in my entire life. And Keith reminds me, <laughs> and, and it's a good thing, um, of my Aunt Gertrude. <laughs> he, he could be her son. I don't know what the genealogy is or whatever, but but I'm telling him the story about the day that I brought my grandmother Meyer, uh, who was her sister-in-law, and her, and I kidnapped them <laughs> from the old folks' home because I'm the rebel in the family <laughs> and I wasn't supposed to do this. And I actually literally was homeless at the time and somebody had given me a couple hundred dollars and um, that actually, that makes it special to me too. And um, I had to trick my grandmother and I had to pick her up at Westminster where she had a two bedroom apartment and she took care of herself and she was okay at the time, um, but she didn't want to go more than a few blocks to Red Lobster or something like that. And then my, my Aunt Gertrude was in another retirement home where I walked into and I was kidnapping her to, and I knew what I was doing. I wanted to take them to the seal box, to the oak room because that's my thing. You know, no red lobster here. I want them to have the best and they're not accustomed to these things, but I want them to be and I want to spoil them best I can. And um, so I went into the old folks home to get Aunt Gertrude. Mama was already in the front seat of the car. And um, uh, um, Aunt Gertrude um, was, oh, you know, with it, but a little out of it. And I completely understand that because I'm kind of there these days. But, you know, you, know, you get locked up in one room for a while. You know? But um, I, I went in and it was dusk. And I ran into my um, nursery school. No, it was nursery school, Sunday school teacher when I was four years old. Um, and had a little experience with her, which was very interesting. But I got Aunt Gertrude in the car and I was really kidnapping her. And she got in the car and the sun was setting, but she thought the sun was rising. And I pretended with my grandmother who was in the front seat that I was getting a little lost because I had an intention and I knew I was coming to the steel box for this dinner but she thought we were just going to go for a few blocks you know to Red Lobster and I had to kind of pretend the whole way but Aunt Gertrude was in the back seat going wee, wee, <laughs> look at this traffic and look at this sunrise it's so beautiful we merrily merrily we roll along <laughs> Merrily, merrily rolling, and look at the bridge, and look, oh, this traffic is wild. And my grandmother was in the front seat biting her nails off because she knew we were headed over the bridge, and that was five minutes away, and that was so bad. But I brought them to the seal box, and I got them out of the car, and these, it was wonderful at the time. I, was, I haven't seen it since. But um, the, the boys came down with the top hats and the white gloves and they brought me Aunt Gertrude out of the car and they walked her up the few steps and she says, oh, a gentleman. <laughs> and she was like she was on a date. It was so amazing. And they put her in a little wheelchair and my other grandmother, was, you know, my grandmother, my sister, she, you know, biting her teeth. And we went up in these little old-fashioned elevators into the Oak Room, which is the four-star restaurant here. And um, 
they sat down and Aunt Gertrude just everything she saw was sparkling and fabulous and wonderful and I had been told that if she had more than a half a cup of soup that she could throw up and that she would get sick and but she's ordering a seven course meal and she's ordering champagne and she's ordering cappuccino for dinner and my grandmother's looking at the menu and saying you know well there's a bourbon you know steak and there's uh, you know and she's like, oh honey I don't think there's any Thing on this menu I'm gonna like and I'm just trying to keep you know with it and I'm hoping my Aunt Gertrude isn't gonna throw up <laughs> so we all end up ordering about seven courses and the food comes and my Aunt Gertrude's drinking champagne <laughs> and my grandmother's thinking the food's gonna be horrible and I'm so excited and they bring our food and there's the domes over the plates and I'm in my heyday and they, you know, serve our food at the same time and they open the domes and my grandmother's terrified, my Aunt Gertrude's all into it and I'm just waiting to see what's going to happen and um, my grandmother starts eating her food. Oh, oh, it's the best food she, oh, she never tasted anything this good <laughs> ever. And my Aunt Gertrude's just downing the soup and I'm thinking, you know, oh gosh, she's going to throw up and I'm trying to take her food away from her. I'm literally taking the food away from her because she has all these other courses coming and she's having so much fun and she's in her heyday. She had my spirit. Um, you have her? I have her spirit, yeah. And she kept eating more and more. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're going to kill me because I'm just the rebel in the family and I'm not supposed to be doing these things. And I always do these things and I'm going to regret it. She's going to be sick in the hospital. It's going to be my fault. She kept ordering and ordering and ordering. She's got cappuccinos and I don't know. Maybe she had three champagnes. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> and then my grandmother's like, oh, it was the best food I ever had in my life. And, and so it's like these two little old ladies that love me. Like, no, you will ever love me in my life. I, one of the hardest times in my life, and I got to take them to one of the best places that I love in my life. And it was a success, and I have pictures from it, and it was wonderful, and it was probably the best day of my life. So, I'm wow. sorry. Thank you.